Hey there you guys, welcome back. Today we're just going to do a little bit of an update on the uh, Grub Grenade, uh, the beneficial mites that I got uh, from Amazon. I've had uh, a bunch of you ask how they did and whether I maybe would buy them again. And uh, the answer is, I really think that they did a great job. Uh, if you haven't, if you don't know what I'm talking about, I've got, uh, I'll link the video up above uh, in a card so that you can uh, check out my original video on uh, applying the Grub Grenade. I also talk about it a little bit more. But basically, it's just uh, uh, integrated pest management. Uh, it's, a, it's a beneficial mite that, uh, that uh, basically uh, uh, protects your soil from any, any, almost any pest. <laughs> uh, so it, it seems to uh, go after uh, fungus gnat larva, uh, goes after uh, dormant... Uh, um, uh, spider mites. It does uh, any anything that the larva lives in the soil, or or any soil bound uh, a creature, not mice or anything like that. But but all little pests that that cause a lot of problems in our plants. Uh, so what I've noticed uh, again, I, I applied these in the fall uh, as I brought everything in. Probably not long after I brought everything in. Uh, so uh, what I've noticed is a lot less fungus gnats. Um, about a month after I applied them, it almost seemed like the fungus gnats dropped considerably. Uh, now the only place that I have fungus gnats uh, breeding are the, the new pots that I've, I've uh, planted, uh, and they're up away from anything else. Um, actually, the ones that are on my potting bench, they have little fungus gnats in there because uh, I keep them constantly moist, and uh, they seem to love it. But that's the only place that I've seen fungus gnats. Uh, so any of the, uh, the plants behind me, they don't seem to have anything. I put the sticky cards on, and initially, obviously, the sticky cards were, were catching things, but now I, I'm not noticing a difference on the cards. So they're, they're doing a great job. I have not noticed any white fly this season, which is incredible. Usually by now, I move a leaf, and white fly just plumes around. It's crazy. Uh, same thing with fungus gnats. By now, it would just be, I'd be breathing and I'd be uh, getting a fungus gnat in my nose or in my throat. It would be just gross. But I don't have any problems right now. Um, spider mites, when I first brought uh, uh, my plants in, obviously it was getting cooler outside, so the spider mites would have been more in the soil. So, uh, that, I have, I did notice a little bit of an outbreak of uh, spider mites, but it was very, very easy to control. Unlike other years, basically the second I bring plants in, uh, it turns into just this battle, uh, which is ridiculous. And this year, I haven't really noticed that. I've, I've again, very, very small outbreaks. I've been able to control those very easily. Uh, comparatively, um, I'm noticing, uh, because it's controlling stuff in the soil, I'm noticing that uh, my plants are doing much better. Uh, the only thing that I, I have noticed is thrip. This year has been the first year that I've experienced thrip in the house, uh, and it has been a pain in the butt. I might have had it last year, but I didn't control it. Uh, but this year, I noticed it on my, my big um, allocations. So, uh, noticing a lot of flecking on the leaves. But that seems to be, I've been washing some of the leaves and spraying with an insecticidal soap, my homemade stuff, as well as a, a concentrate that I purchased at the store, uh, just to try to uh, control those guys. Uh, but all in all, it's been uh, miraculous. I will be buying Grub Grenade again. Let's look at the plants and see what they're looking like. So those of you who have followed me for a number of years knows that around this time of year, uh, my elephant ears are looking really worse for wear, and the leaves are getting smaller, and uh, they might have one or maybe two leaves on them, and they, they just they look so sad. Uh, but now, this year, they're very, very lush, like this one here in particular has four leaves on it. I have, I don't even know the last time I've had four leaves on an alocasia. When it's outside, uh, it naturally does because. But as one, one leaf uh, opens, once it gets to four, I notice that the the oldest leaf starts to yellow. So this one here is the yellowing leaf. This is the oldest leaf, I believe. Yeah. So this is the newest leaf that's coming out. This is the second newest leaf. That's the third, and then this is the fourth. So as, uh, as a general rule, I noticed that an alocasia really only supports three leaves uh, really, really well. Um, but that changes. If, if they're really, really happy, they can have four or five. But uh, in my experience, three is the magic number. Uh, we've got this one. This one here needs to get cut back. Uh, I notice just in general, when they develop a big trunk like this, 
the leaves tend to get smaller. At least, at least for me and my care, that's what happens. So what I'm going to do is once they go outside for the spring, I'm going to cut it off probably here. Uh, and then I'm just going to uh, remove all of this husk. And you're noti you'll notice there's some, uh, some little nodes here. They're going to start to grow th uh, from these nodes. It's going to produce all kinds of roots. And the plant is going to get a, a, new, a new vigor that it's lacking right now. And the new growth is going to have bigger leaves, nicer leaves, and uh, just the look you probably want. So usually by now, the offsets are, are uh, kind of drying up. But right now, uh, I've actually got offsets that are starting to produce nice leaves. Uh, which is incredible. I, uh, in all honesty, that normally doesn't happen for me. Uh, by now, again, things look like garbage. Uh, and this one here is another one that has four. This one actually has five leaves on it. This particular one, here's a leaf. Here's a leaf. Uh, that's also part of this plant. This one is also part of this plant. And then this one here, this is probably the oldest leaf. And this one is going to... Uh, uh, get cut off very soon. This one actually still has uh, signs of thrip damage. You'll be able to see the, the, the modeling on the leaf. It's also because it's an older leaf. Um, but yeah, I'm not noticing any thrip on there right now, which is incredible. I love it, I love it, I love it. Uh, this one here underneath, this is my Macorrhiza lutea, the beautiful golden one. Um, this one I thought was going to die uh, in the, the early season after bringing it inside. Everything seemed to uh, kind of go to, go to hell, uh, for lack of better words, and uh, it started to do beautifully again. I think it had, um, it had thrip for sure, uh, but I think it had um, maybe, maybe a spider mite infestation. I'm not sure. Uh, but everything just dried up, and and I couldn't keep it alive. And then uh, after about a month, maybe two months of having the mites in here, uh, they just started uh, flourishing again, and I got little offsets. I don't know whether you're able to see, but there's a little baby there. There's another little baby coming out over here, uh, right there by my finger. And this is the sticky card. Uh, this sticky card has been there the whole season, so as you can see, there's not a lot of fungus gnats, but it's catching adult fungus gnats. Uh, the mites do the job at, at killing the larva, eating the larva right up, so yeah. If you can catch the adults, it means less larva in the soil. Uh, and, and same thing, like these new leaves are, are growing beautifully. I love how these are growing. And this serendipity, I love the thick leaves. This one is a really resilient plant. I didn't notice that this one had too many problems uh, as it was, but but I guess at the root level, it's much happier. Uh, so I'm getting nice nice size leaves. Again, by now, this this leaf would have been half the size, uh, and uh, I'm I'm really really impressed. So for the price that the beneficial mites are, they seem rather expensive, but for the amount of time that you save. For the amount of, of stress that it seems to resolve, <laughs> uh, it's well worth it. I think that the, the container that I purchased was about $40 or $50. I will probably end up buying the bigger one next time, uh, just so that I have even more. Um, but, uh, but yeah, as you can see, the plants are doing okay. Uh, again, by now, you'd be able to see through it. You'd be able to throw a ball through there and not hit anything. Uh, but it's 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 looking pretty good. I'm going to be very confident putting these outside in the springtime, which is right around the corner. Uh, so anyway, show me what you're growing. Uh, uh, tag me in Instagram. And uh, yeah, until next time, you guys. Happy growing.